Sully. Good evening, Adam. Hi, how are you? Good very, to be very here. Very good. Very good. It is great to see such a brave choice of a pink shirt. <laughs> and I thought of that when I put it on today. I thought, uh, you know what? I'm feeling brave. I better wear a pink shirt today. So, but pink shirts look look really good on men. Yes. I guess depends on what man. <laughs> Not all men, I guess. Not everything looks good on everybody. Slippery, <laughs> slippery theme. How do you, how do you feel, Adam? I feel great. And how has been your week? How has it started? Um, the week's been good, uh, busy as per usual. Uh, again, always things pop up and things, people give me things that I'm not expecting and I get lots of questions from people on the show and uh, lots of other things. Um, and then new domains come out and I'm deciding what I should do about those things and whether I'm interested or not. And, uh, new domains? Well, just like I, I popped you up a message midweek that there were uh, dot forums were released. So... Uh, we were looking, I was looking at a few of those to purchase and acquire. And uh, I don't know, right now the price is uh, $2,500, I think, for a premium and up and twelve fifty for just a generic anything like Adam Dicker, uh, whatever. It's like twelve fifty, So they're still quite high. So $2,500 for a premium. And what would they classify as a premium that forum domain? Uh, something like... Um, Crypto, well, crypto or, or .forum or hosting.forum or actually domains.forum was one of the few that was reserved. So domain forum. Uh, so okay. you couldn't get that anyway. But uh, there's a lot of other ones available because the price is at least $1,250, $1,250 per domain US. That's pretty well, steep. That is, that is a lot. And yeah. what are your thoughts on forums as they are? So I, I think uh, I've mentioned before, my thoughts on forums are that uh, they're disappearing. I think that most people are now starting uh, large user groups on Facebook or other social media platforms where they don't have to go and advertise or, or wait for people to recommend their forum or their blog or whatever it is. People can actually just search for the topic and find you and then join. So it's a much more open uh, field and much less advertising. If you spend $500 there to advertise, you're going to get a ton of of good people coming in uh, from the world and not just from people who've heard of your site. So for me, forums are good. Um, they're unique. But for me, it's all about uh, getting it on social media these days. Absolutely. It seems that social media, those huge social medias, they are killing forums. Um, Absolutely. It's my opinion. Doesn't they, make it right. But over. yeah, I think that they have, they've just got a much wider audience. And Actually, have you seen uh, have you seen Twitter communities yet? Uh, Twitter has announced to their investors that they'll be launching communities. No, groups, they'll be calling them communities. No, I haven't seen that, but I did get uh, another invite yesterday from a, a young lady uh, named Jennifer Mitchell, who's a real estate agent, who was bugging me to join, not bugging me, asking me to join Clubhouse, okay. and she sent me an invitation. She said a lot of people are now even buying iPads and iPhones just to be able to get into Clubhouse, so. She sent me an invite. We do have an iPad or two in the house, so I guess I'm going to have to sign up and see what it's all about. That's I still haven't joined that that side uh, either. I have not yet. I mean, I have uh, so much stuff to do in the day, except she messaged me yesterday that uh, Rick Schwartz was in a room with Frank Schilling and somebody else, and uh, I need to get on this thing. So who knows? We'll see. So, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, everybody. So, while Rick Schwartz and Frank Schilling are at the clubhouse somewhere where nobody knows them, here you are at YouTube, at Facebook, at Twitch, and Twitter, and Periscope. And with you, there is Adam Dicker, one of the best and well known names in the domain name industry, professional domain name investor, broker who has 30,000 plus domain names in his portfolio. A man who has seen it all. And today we'll be talking about lead generation tools, blockchain domains, and then, of course, there will be your answers, your questions and answers. And then we have a small portfolio of four domains submitted from name pros from a guy named uh, Riz. Okay. And of course, Bill. <laughs> hey, Bill. Go away. Good to see you. And Trevor. Yeah. 
Good evening. And my apologies if somebody is sending me questions over Facebook. I do see them. I just haven't answered on them. Thank you. So lead generation, uh, what do you see? How would you say what is lead generation as? So lead generation is working with a business um, <laughs> back from Richmond. Richmond, Hill. UK. Hey, Joe. Uh, lead generation is working with a business um, that uh, benefits from leads and you have the ability to uh, generate leads uh, for that business. Now, it could also be trying to generate leads to sell a domain name on who to uh, talk to or things like that. It could be there's many different types of lead generation. Maddie. Wow, the regulars. Awesome. We're getting a fan club. So, and how would you start with uh, why lead generation is important? So lead generation is important for a couple of reasons. One, it allows you to uh, bring in uh, leads for a business that you may or not be an expert in, but you know how to handle uh, and bring in leads through the internet, through internet advertising, or through any other, other means. Um, Sometimes businesses, uh, they want more leads, but they don't know how to get them. And you are the digital marketer who will be able to help bring in leads uh, for other businesses. Okay. And do you sell leads yourself or do you keep them all to yourself? So I, I don't really Personally. sell leads. Um, there's a couple of ways to do it. And one of them I like, one of them I don't like. There's doing lead generation for uh let's say a company, uh, we'll pick Host Maria, for example. Yes. Um, I say I'm going to generate leads for Host Maria. And then I just go ahead and I send you a bunch of people that uh, probably may or may not even sign up for anything. And we have no way to check that or tell what's going on. Or I say to you, I will send you leads, but I only want to be paid for the leads that you actually convert, which is much more security for you. It's a better uh, conversion and dollar rate uh, for me because you're happy you're going to make money if you get a lead from me. So the kind that say they'll send you leads and it's like $5 or $10 a lead or $2, whatever it is, and they're just going to send you tons of phone calls that are kind of unqualified or, or useless, I, I don't believe in that because then they're just trying to make money by selling leads. I believe in the relationship building with that business where it's in my best interest to send host Maria leads that they'll actually convert on so that we're both growing the business. We're both working on uh, building something. And you know that I'm not just trying to sell you leads because I make five or $10 off the lead. So if we sell a, a website, a, a whatever it is, and it's like 300 bucks or whatever, and we agree that I'll get 40 or $50 per lead for converts, I'm much happier with that than I am taking three, four, five dollars $5 per lead that I send you. Because you're not going to use my service long if you don't get anything out of it. Okay, so there are two ways. There are two, there are two ways how to approach it. Uh, either get the leads for somebody else or for your own business, is it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I could generate leads for businesses that I have, or I could generate leads by, let's say I had, um, I don't know, uh, I'll pick again, Miami Plumber. And I wanted okay. to get leads for uh, to sell that domain to plumbers in Miami. And I would find out how many there were, what I could find, and then how I would get their emails and contacts. And then if I want to go a step further, I can set up a landing page, talk to them and say, look, if I can also send you leads to the site, if you don't want to buy the site, what about if I set it up and send you leads and you pay me $30 per lead? And, and most of those services are going to be uh, very happy to have that. And if, as long as they realize they're only paying for leads that they actually convert, they're much happier. Who's going to say no to somebody that says, look, I'll send you business, but I only want to get money if you make money rather than I just want to make money and you'll make nothing. Okay. So let us say you would have, let's keep, stay the same or Miami plumber. Yep. What would you do for them? So how many tools would you do? And if you had to create it as a business, lead okay. generation for that business. Thank so you. one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to go find out how many plumbers are in Miami. Now for that, I'm going to have to share my screen and show you one of the okay. new tools. And uh, I, have that we to, have. I have to say that we did not agree which sample we would take out. So Miami plumbers are one. I don't. Even, yeah, we haven't done anything yet. So no, you're right. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Entities. Yes. Um, Ready to roll. Uh, let's say application window, share. Okay. So you can still see yourself. Now, I like to use tools by Jack Hopman. 
I don't make any money off of this, but I'm going to show you a couple tools that are going to help you with your lead generation. Okay. So we, we go into, once you log in, this is called, uh, just so you know, the one I'm using is called Lead Finder Jack cloud version. Okay. I click it after I signed up. I think it's like 29 bucks. I'll go Adam, into uh, could, Sorry, could you make it narrower, please? Yeah, I can do that. Thank you. Fantastic. Better? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So what I'll do is I'll go in, I'll select country, and I can pick whatever country I want, hit save. Uh, I'll hit state. In this case, it's going to be. Sorry, sorry, once again, what's the tool? It's called Lead Finder Jack Cloud Version. Oh, God. What a horrible name. Sorry. Well, I was just saying <laughs> Jack Hoppin. I can't tell him how to name his products. Uh, okay, sorry. Lead Generation Generator. No, um, Lead Finder Jack Cloud. Lead Finder. Lead Finder. It's called Lead Jack. Finder Jack, yeah. and he's got a cloud yeah. and a desktop version. I strongly recommend the cloud version. Lead Finder I think Jack it's cloud. 29 yes. bucks for uh, a month, and you get all kinds of tools and stuff. So mm -hmm. now I've picked Florida. Save. Okay. I'm going to pick city. All the cities in Florida come up, which is nice. I can do a search if I want to for Miami. And I can filter that down if my box goes away there. I'll pick Miami. It pops it up over there. I'll hit save. And then instead of lawyers, I'm going to look for a plumber. PLU filter. Again, this is not something we've practiced. So okay. we're just doing it live. There's plumber. I'll hit save. Now I have United States, Florida, Miami plumbing. I'll hit get companies. I'll say yes, go start the multi search. And now it's going to look, you can see some of the other ones I've done. Cincinnati uh, lawyer, uh, Ontario lawyer, uh, Douglasville plumbing. These are other examples I've just run for myself. This one's running. It'll take about five to 10, less than five minutes to do it. There you go. 506 of them is found. So then from there, I can go in and look at the list of plumbers. I can, um, it's, I'm going to let it finish because it's still adding all the companies. Yes, absolutely. But I can go ahead and I can look at it. Um, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm also going to build a site for plumbers. So this is another tool that he's got. It's called Rapify. Rapify. I'm going to show you how easy this is. Rapify, R-A-P-I-F-Y. Okay. I'm going to hit. And then I go into niches. I hit plumber. I hit view to see the sample site. And there you go. You've got a full site for plumbers and leads and everything all already done for you. You don't oh, have to do anything. On. All is you have to do is rapifier.com. Yeah. All you have to do is put it and you can customize the name, the address, everything. And it's got all kinds of stuff. And it's got over uh, 500 niches. I'll just show you another one just for fun. Um, wow. Pest control. Pest control. I'll view it. And then I'll show you how to make the site if we actually want to. So this site is done now. Pest control with everything you could possibly want and all the services here with all the pages. And it's got the call us number and a yes. form on every page. But you can see there's content here too. So if I actually wanted to edit that, I'll show you how I would do that. And I, this is not a sales thing for him. But yes, I do want to use this site. Then it gives me okay. this. This is the actual editor. Uh -huh. I go into sections once it loads. And watch how easy this is. So it's loaded. Uh, now, if, if I want to check the site settings, which is just the phone number and stuff, replace company details. Here I put in my own email. I'm just making one up. Phone number, I'll put in my cell. Uh, and then you can change the address to whatever you want. I can put Toronto. Doesn't matter if I spell it right. Ontario. And then I just hit replace. And it automatically replaces the phone numbers and everything on all the pages. So I'm done. Close. Then it just close. And, and then it will email. reload. And, and there is probably a place where you can upload your own logo. Oh, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, there's yeah. everything. Again, this is just a site that I use for me. You see the phone numbers everywhere now. That's my yep. cell number. It's done. Uh, the contact form, because I put my email in, it'll go to me if they want to quote. These are easy sites to sell. So let's go back to Lead Finder Jack. It's finished. And, and how would you put it on your, on your URL? Oh, well, that's a good question too. So you have lots of ways. You can publish it, and then you can publish it to a Rapify hosting. You can publish it to your own FTP, uh, to your own cPanel. Wherever you want to put it, you can do it. Or if you want to just download it, you can do that too. So you can download the whole site and then just upload it yourself. So it However would be you want an HTML, CSS site. Yeah, it's HTML. Yeah, and you'd be surprised. You saw how, how long it takes to make a site and even change the content information, and it's a fully functional site.
So easy peasy. Wow. Let's go back to lead finder. So we've got those 508 plumbers. I just hit campaign and it lists all of them. So now it tells me all of them. Now, if I just want the only ones with email addresses, so I'll say email. Uh -huh. Yes. So they have to have one. It filters out the ones that don't and gives me all the sites that have emails and phone numbers so I can contact them. And now I have tons of companies that I can either sell the site to if I have miamiplumbers.com or I can call them and set up lead generation with one of them. And there's lots of other stuff I can look at if they have a website. They don't have a website. These three don't even have a website. So we would contact them and see if they want a website. There's lots of stuff that you can do with these tools. What about is it a WordPress site? Okay, it's a WordPress site. We can also get a hold of these people and see if we can manage their WordPress site for them. We can do all kinds of different things with the tools that uh, I use. And we can look at companies that have a Facebook link. What is their Facebook link? And you can see some of them will have uh, good Facebook links or, or none at all. And I can open them up and see. And plus, it gives you their websites. You can go click and open up any one of these websites. You can look if it needs work. Like, well, this is a pretty ugly one. This is just an AdSense type site, but this looks like a site for a company who's done something pretty horrible and maybe they could use a better site. So there's always stuff you can do and learn, which is pretty cool. Um, and then from here, he's got other tools where you can export them to mailing products and things like that, but I'm not going to go through all that today. Um, if you want just the list of all these, I can go back to any. I will say email any, and then I can just go up here and export the whole thing to a CSV. And then it'll uh, it'll download the whole thing for me, so I can I can export it all. And then it stores all of your campaigns under campaigns, and you can do whatever you need to do with any of this stuff. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So that combined with this, and again, you can pick any site you want. You don't have to pick. Uh, I just did this specific one, but he has over 500 different sites that you can choose from to decide which one you want to use. And that will help you with your, uh, again, it's rapify.com. I'm already logged in, so it should just take okay. me. You want to use a roofer, here's a roofer. And it's already done for you. You just change the phone number and sell the site. Pretty easy, huh? And what's the price for Rapify? Well, oh my, it's cheap. It's, uh, I think if I recall correctly, it's like $5 per site to build and, and export five to six dollars and if you want to host it with them it's different but you're obviously better off getting your host account with host marie or anybody else but uh it's pretty quick and pretty easy as you can see and like i said they have pages and pages and pages of niches if you want alterations if you want chiropractors whatever you want here's yoga studio boom done pretty lead form wow everything he, done he, that's that's yeah Here's, here's the services. I don't have to do anything. Yoga teacher training. I'm certainly not yoga, but it's all here and it's content that gets indexed. Contact us. Has a, it will show a map, by the way, if I change the address to yes, show your city. And you can adjust anything that you want to want to do here. For me, I'm just happy when I'm just putting up a simple site to sell a domain name. If it looks like this and they go to it, much more professional than just nothing. That's my opinion. Okay, that covers uh, those things as far as that goes. And the only other thing you so, want to so do... So it means in 10 minutes, in 10 minutes, uh, you would have created the site and you would have a list with a co with companies from an age. Uh, yeah, and not only that, but you can also um, take the same site and just keep changing the contents and save them as different sites. If you want to go after and sell eight plumber sites, you can put in eight, eight plumbers and build the sites all at once and off you go. And then you have eight sites. You call a guy up to sell him a website that has a crappy website, and you've got that already, and you can show it to them. You've got some good chances of selling the website. I mean, it takes five minutes. Spend five minutes, build about five of them, call the five plumbers, and see what you can do or whatever business they happen to be. And it's unlimited ways for you guys to sell and build websites. Absolutely. And you just put, you would put up a – and if you were selling a domain, like let's say miamiplumbers.com, miamiplumber.com. I would, I would build it. I would show it, I would send it out, and I would say, here's how many people are looking for Miami plumbers. I'd get that uh, number from Google, and then I would say, here's what you could be doing, hopefully, with this site, and you could bring an extra lead to your site. If not, and you don't want to do that, and you don't want to buy the site outright and own it and own all the leads, then I'll sell you the leads, if, and I'll keep selling them to you until you decide it's worthwhile you actually buy the site. 
that you've overspent 10 times on paying me leads for what you could have had when you owned the site yourself. The only part we're missing here is Twilio, T-W-I-L-I-O. Yes. They sell phone numbers. You want to buy a local show, phone number. Just could you show that site, please? Yes. So this is Twilio.com. Um, I can try to log in now. And while Adam is looking it up and will he'll be putting it on screen, please, uh, after we'll show the Twilio, let us ask Adam uh, one of your samples. So please give your niche, your city, town, country, and then we'll see, can Adam have a look what could be the template, possible template, what could be, how many leads would be there? Yeah, why not? Why not? But first, Twilio. And of course, good evening, good afternoon, good morning to everybody. Am I still sharing or no? No. No. So Let what was back. the Jack Cloud? <laughs> you guys, it's jackhopman.com. Let me go back and share my screen because now I forget where I was. I'll go over any questions. Don't worry. Share my screen. We'll share the application window. We'll go back. Okay. This is thank you. Thank you, Adam, for sharing this information. Uh, oh. seriously, this is this is worth money. This is this is only one percent of what I can show you guys over time and over videos. So these are two numbers that I bought. You can buy either a toll-free number or a local number, like I've bought here. So in this case, uh, and I just made it a bit larger for you guys. Uh, I prefer when you're building a lead generation site, always get a local number. Don't bother with an eight 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 number because you want it to be local so people feel like they're calling a local plumber, a local dentist, a local anything. Okay. And then what you do is you enable call forwarding and you forward the number to whoever you have that relationship with, or you can leave the number at your own and collect all of the leads uh, yourself if it's for your business. Like these are forward, both these numbers are forwarded to my cell phone. So, so, so these are two, two of your numbers. Yeah, these are two of my numbers that uh, I use. It's a different account that I use for testing, but these are uh, hooked up, I think, on hb.ca, and they forward to me. Okay. And again, it's like a dollar a phone number, and it's pretty easy to share. Um, I can show you actually how to get them if you want to see that as well. Yes, yes, please. Of course. Okay, Let's so go back to Aquilia. We'll go back. And so, what are the prices? And what buck. countries do they sell? Uh, a buck a name. So you just hit buy a number. So what one? So, so here's uh, the country. So one, one, one dollar per, per number. Yep, and they serve pretty much every country you could imagine. Uh, I don't see Latvia in there, so don't kill me. But there's lots of other numbers you can pick. Uh, for the argument's sake, I'm, I'm just going to pick like United States. Uh -huh. And then all you do is if you want the number to end in host, you can do that too. Um, oh, and, and yes. search. And then you get uh, numbers that will have. I didn't do it right, but no results. <laughs> no, that's just because I didn't do it right. Uh, there's you have to go to advanced for that advanced search, and then you have to have first part of number. You want last part of number to match host, and then we hit search. <clears throat> it's searching, and I must have done something wrong again. No, hold on. Okay. They usually have lots of numbers. I think I had to switch to US for some reason. Okay. I think, uh, and then it works, if I recall correctly. Well, let's just first search for some numbers so you can see the actual numbers pop up. Um, so I do a search, and then you get all these different numbers, and then I can pick where I want them if I want an area code or where I want them, and it tells you where they are. So I could pick, like, New York if I want a New York number. Um, I can pick anything like that. So if I want a 212, I can probably search for that, or I may have to go to advanced search, and maybe 212 is taken, but... Yeah, so let's go back to advanced search and we'll just search for all of them. But yeah, you search for numbers here and they're a buck a piece. And that's a buck a piece a uh -huh. month. That's, that would be monthly payment. Yep. One dollar a month. And yep. what would be their uh, call uh, call, uh, call costs? Receiving calls, maybe ma can you make calls? And what yeah, are the Yeah, you can costs? make calls. You can get uh, text messages, voice messages, or MMS like it says here. Um, there's no issue with that at all. So... Where are you now? You're in the UK? Yes. Uh, so it'll have that let us, here. Let us, let us find the UK. And can we see, is there, for example, law? Let's put law. Uh, sure. Last part of number, law. Yes. Capabilities type. Um, we don't care if it's, okay. There you go. 529. 529. Where they all are. Ah. Uh. 
and then you just hit buy and that's it. You're done. You can see it's a buck a month. Yep. And that's it. And now you have a number for your local business and you can control it. So again, I'll stop sharing at the moment. If, okay. uh, if I send leads to you and you decide you don't want my leads anymore, I can just switch where the number four is to somebody else and off we go. Adam, so you, so you have two Twilio numbers? I have two. I have one toll free and one uh, Toronto number. The 647 is a Toronto number. Uh, it's for local sites. Um, and for if I want to sell domains, I give them an 800 number, an 888 number, whatever it is. Would it be possible to see your invoices, Twilio invoices? I, I, yeah, I guess I, I don't know what they uh, are, but sure. It would be as as you do use these numbers. As I use you, them, but you, I, you know, in in all the, you know, in most of the services, there are so many hidden fees. You have to pay for this, for that. Yeah, I'm happy to. I'm going to it now. And I'm that happy would be to interesting go. if you could check those invoices first, of course, and sure, maybe I, I, maybe, no, I don't, maybe there's nothing can, here. Well, maybe they contain you know your your nah. home address and stuff like that. No, nah, I don't uh, care. There's no, I'm making sure it's well hidden. Let me go back to the window. Let's see what we got here. So, uh, uh, I, I, yeah, I no, that's it, it's I, fine. I will, I will, I will put it up uh, when when you are ready. No, you can go ahead. That's a mailbox okay. address I use. It's fine. Okay, let's so, see the actual invoices. I mean, you can see uh, I put in twenty dollars or something maybe a month ago, and there's still fourteen ninety four, and I've only spent two dollars, which is the two numbers for the first month. So now let's see if, and that's the first one there. Okay. So you want to look at the PDF? We can do that too. Okay. Uh, let me open it. Th thank you. Oh, no problem. I'm going to have to switch screens to it once it opens. But and if we could see some analytics as well, how many? Oh, I don't think there's been much. I haven't really, really started pushing it yet. Um, yeah, I don't see how to get it. I can download it, but if I open it, it's just yes. blank anyway. So there's nothing really here. Okay, but you can go in in the other months now. No, there are no other months. I just okay. this is a so, new account so, so I just, just opened for HB. Okay. okay. So that I have another sense. one, but yeah, this one just shows me there's nothing here. Nothing. Blank. So that one doesn't okay. help. Very good. So what are the prices? What are the prices on redirects? Nothing. It's free. So so free redirect to yeah. so and if you, you can redirect, call forwarding is free. So call forwarding to let us say a guy uh, is in Portugal, Europe. Well, if he you buys, don't have a... he buys he buys American number, and then call forwarding to his Portuguese number, mobile number. I don't know about that. I've never tried that. I've only used uh, U.S. and Canadian numbers and forwarded them okay. to uh, U.S. or Canadian numbers. So I don't know if there's going to be anything. If it's a local number, I think it's fine. Uh, I think that if somebody, it's like anything. If somebody calls your cell phone and they're from a different country, then they're going to be charged the long distance, not you. Okay, so let us have a look on another one. Uh, so out of two, so we have two choice. Uh, so once again, what was the Jack? <laughs> Jack okay. <call>. So <laughs> the tool is called Lead Finder Jack Cloud. I, you can go to jackhopman.com. That's where it is, but I'll find the, uh, let me get you a link for this tool. And somebody just help sell him leads.com. Make the guy happy. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, it's called leadfinderjack.com. Okay, and you lead leadfinderjack.com. Uh, and you would go, go for cloud version. Yeah, the, the desktop version is slow and archaic. Um, and the you saw how fast the cloud version was. It was almost instant. So uh, we did offer you to submit your niche and choice of country or, 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 or city. And then Adam would look up the possible leads for you. And we have two pretenders. One is Joe. We know that Joe is from the UK. And Rowing Boats. And then gambling. Think, okay. Okay. Rowing sure. boats. So, so let's let us go for rowing boats. So here's the problem: is that those are rowing. A rowboat is a product. It's yes. not a service. We're looking for types of of services that you like. Lead gen. You're talking more about selling rowboats for somebody, and I wouldn't know how to. You'd have to find those with other tools. These are more for services for people to have things like web designers, locksmiths, plumbers, acupuncture. Somebody who performs a service rather than okay. an actual product. So it'd be a landscaper, a, a gardener, a, um, there's tons of them. Let me just take a look at what there was because there's, I can... Rowing boat hire. Adam is a bit frozen. Uh, so there are some interruptions, that's fine. 
it's fine. Let us wait for Adam to return. And good evening, good evening, everybody. And of course, we'll see. Adam will be back, and Adam is back. Yes, yes, Adam. There so what? I, yeah, what I was saying was it's more for uh, services where you're actually talking, like furnace repair, uh, HVAC, heating, cooling. Uh, I can share some of the niches with you, so you can see he, what he, they he are. Can go legal, legal services? Yeah, legal okay. services for sure. Now again, okay, let, let's look them up, and let okay. us let us say, uh, um, let us say Manchester. Why not? Or Liverpool? Make it Liverpool. Beatles. Let me go to the tool, and then you can. Uh, you can talk me through what you want. So yes. when I go legal, to legal services, Liverpool. So you want the you, okay. So you want the United Kingdom. Yes. Save. Um, state uh, it says England. It's not much of a choice here. Okay. Save. Uh, city. Well, it's just Liverpool's thinking. Definitely knocking in. Okay, then give me another city in England, or is it? Uh, let us go for London then. What about yeah? No, I. Yeah, I don't see. Well, let me see. There's lots of stuff in here. Is there in England? Is it? No. Liverpool. Liverpool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Save. So those now, what niche do we want? We want legal. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Legal. Okay, so let's go to legal. Uh, lawyer. No plumbers. Huh? And save. And get companies. And start. And it will tell us in a second how many it found in Liverpool. And this also works, by the way, great in small cities when there's only like five restaurants or five things. I mean, you know uh, who you're trying to get. You know how to get a locksmith or whatever you want to do, and you can get – there's tons of them. While this is going, um, I'll let it go, and then I'll, I'll go back and show you of how course. many niches there are. Yes. Um, and then meanwhile, we can look up for the site. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you want to go to okay. the site? You're lucky I saved all the windows open. Uh, niche. So now we want a lawyer. Okay. So we are going back to rapify.com. Now you've got accident lawyer, criminal lawyer, divorce lawyer, real estate lawyer, lawyer, divorce lawyer. Immigration lawyer. Beautiful. Oh, horrible, but beautiful. Yes. Yeah, that's great. And there you go. <laughs> Site's done. Family law shot. They do other things too. Here's the services, divorce services. And again, look, they look very happy here. Typical couple with a wall. This is after five years of marriage, probably, or three. Um, and then you do whatever you want. There's there's family law, there's, and they all have services, and you can obviously change the pictures uh, and do whatever you want. The About Us page, but you saw how fast it is, and it's just as easy to change the phone number. Here she's saying, no, I'm not really that interested. I want more of his stuff, um, and so on. <laughs> and he's I've saying, no, I've I'm not giving it, yes. you anything. They're just fighting like normal. Now, if we go back to this, oh, it's still loading. I can refresh it. There, 189, and now it's just going to load them all. It'll take a minute or two, and then it'll give us all the lawyers in Liverpool. And you can see you've got a good, uh, good pool, no pun intended, to work with. 189 of them, and from there you can do whatever you want and and go back and manipulate them, export them, whatever you want. Mm, wow! So, pretty easy to do. That's the wrong campaign. That's the plumbers again. And you can scroll down through your campaigns here. Uh, the other one's not here yet, but it will be as soon as it's finished, and then we'll have that as well. So there you go. And can we use the Jack tool uh, to find leads for two-letter, three-letter three letter domain names as well? Oh, here's your Liverpool one. It's ready now. Uh, no. Okay. no. Uh, okay. I don't believe you can. So here's ones with emails. Uh, okay. Yes. Now you can get a hold of these lawyers and sell them whatever you want. Here's family law. Some of them will tell you what they are, obviously, in the names. There's a notary republic. Oh, there's also a site, I believe, for a notary, in case you just want to sell notaries. I'm pretty sure okay. there's one for that. But yeah, there you go. There's tons of them. I mean, you can do basically whatever you want. So here's a notary service, and so on. All done, fingerprinting, everything. And it's okay. all there, except it's blocked for some reason. There you go. Okay. So you get can, can we look? Can we look up accountancy? Let us say LA in this case. Uh, so we know Bill with his Go LA and beautiful domain name. Let us say uh, accountant dot LA. Let us say. Okay. So somebody definitely owns the domain. Uh, yeah. Save or bookkeeping. Bookkeeping dot. Whatever LA. you want. I have both. Yeah. So if we want LA, it's California. City. Uh, well, and there's tons of them. You can do whatever you want. There's Los can, Angeles. Can we choose? Can we choose all of them? Yeah, 
you can choose as many as you want. Like I can choose so East Los Angeles. Yes. Or just Los Angeles. I can choose I can choose as many as I want. You see it just adds them. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Okay, save. I just picked some random ones. What are we looking for? A bookkeeper? A bookkeeper accountant, yes. Okay, so Thank accountant. You. And now you want bookkeeper too? Uh, for greedy bookkeeping services. Done. Save. This is amazing. Two niches, seven cities, get companies, and go. And, and well, well Cho, Cho is saying how amazing tools. App Cho, isn't this amazing? Please, Me, this is only a small you, portion of what I can show you. I can show you a lot more than this. If It just depends on how much time and how detailed we want to go. Anyway, it's pulling up the uh, California stuff. It may be a few minutes to tell us how many are. Oh, 1,348 bookkeepers and accountants in Los Angeles area. But, oh, God. such a... So off you go. So all you've got to do is just get account uh, accountant or a bookkeeper or bookkeeping.la and go after them. Well, I mean, I would I would tend to go after something a little better. But yeah, <laughs> here's the accountant one. Um, there, all done. Services, tax planning. Tax planning now is great. And it's yeah. all done. Look, tax planning, accounting audits, whatever you need. And it's or all done. VAT. <laughs> yeah, for you guys. VAT. So, I mean, oh, I, I don't know how it can get. VAT in, in the UK, yes. I don't know how it can get easier. So that's account accountant. I don't know if there's a bookkeeper one. There is. There you go. Okay. Bookkeeping. And you can change the colors, the themes, whatever you want. Easy. And the form goes to the email that you put in when you change the phone number and everything else. Two seconds, then FTP it, and you're done. Okay, let's go back to our thing here. It's still adding them. Let me refresh, and then we can go through and see. It's got 50% of them done. You can see it's fast. I mean, I'm not yes. waiting for this. And it says I've used 9,300 credits, and I've got, I think, 60,000 or something altogether. But so I you get, get 60,000 credits? And I think it's 100,000, to be honest with you. I don't know. But you get a lot of credits. Like, you're not going to – I've never used up all my credits, and I can get more if I need them. So that's 100,000 credits for four months, yes. Yeah, they, they refresh should. every month. And I think they may even uh, come back and uh, collide. Now, you wanted to ask about plans well, for Rapify? Months. Okay. Uh, active plan. I get 20 times something. Let me just see where I can upgrade. Uh, oh, they also have video stuff and all kinds of other stuff you can do with white label stuff, which we could be doing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to see what other plans they have. But uh, again, it just sends you to the page. and you. Send, but I know it's 29 bucks to start. And that's about it. Let's go back here, see if we're done. And you can always, okay, done. So now we can go look at this one. Uh, look at the campaign. These are seven cities in California and two niches. And here they all are with all the tools you need. And if you want email, yes. If you want... Uh, Let us say Facebook page, yes. Facebook page, yes. At least it will show that they are active. There you go. So and it'll give you all they the information. Uh, if you want to know if they have... We'll get rid of this for now. Oh, I don't mean to say no. Well, then you can go after them if they want to sell them a Facebook page if the answer is no, too. Then you've got other cool things in here, like do they have a claimed listing or is there a listing in Google unclaimed? So two of them here have unclaimed listings in Google, so you could sell them to Google My Places to claim their listing for 80 bucks or whatever you want. So there's lots of things that you can do. The stuff oh. that I'm showing you is pretty much unlimited. Uh, Facebook, um, and again, are they running AdWords accounts? This tells you if they're paying for ads right now. And then you can go look up and see how much they're paying for ads using another tool that I wasn't planning on showing you, but I will just because we're here. Let's go to Loan Center, and I want to find out how much they're paying for ads. I'm going to switch to a different thing. I'm going to go to okay. a tool called spyfu. Spy Absolutely brilliant, yes. And then I'm going to put in their URL. Again, this is not part of the program, but we're, we're improvising as we go. It's going to tell me how much Loan Center spends on ads and what keywords that they buy and everything else. And so they have, what, is your, what, is your, what is your plan on Spy for 30 bucks a month, something? I, I, actually, I don't even – this is just not logged in because you're allowed to do two sites without logging in. It yes. tells you that 99% of their traffic is organic. They're paying for 158 keywords. They're getting wow. 83 clicks a month, and they're only paying $155 a month. But that's a lot of money if you're selling them a three four $400 site where they can save that money. And if you want to see who their competition is, you want to go in and say, look, I was talking to 1-800-CAR-TITLE loan. They're interested in the domain name. Um, I see you're also an advertiser, and I'd be interested in saying it to you. These are their paid advertisers, so they know these competitors. Probably not if they're spending that much. And it tells you where the keywords are. It shows you their top keywords are title loans. This is the top keyword that they're paying for, secured loan. 
$7.02. You can fix your keywords. You can do anything you want. And here's the pages for them and their actual ads. Title loan, best car loan, and that's them loan center. And you can see a lot more by going through all this stuff. You want to see the paid keywords, you click on that and it'll show you all the keywords that they're paying for. Introducing a new tool. We don't care. We just want to see this. Those are the keywords that they're paying for because we haven't signed in yet. Those are the ones we get to show for free. The rest we'd get if we logged in. And you can go to them and say, look, you're paying for secured loan definition for $7.02. So what does definition have to do with it? Title Max loans makes more sense. Georgia Auto Pond, that may make sense. You'll find some of the keywords they're paying for that they shouldn't even be paying for because they're they're wrong and they've got somebody managing their it, campaign who doesn't know yeah, what they're doing. It just, it just means that they haven't got a clue what they're doing, yes. Exactly. So it they're just, they're just using Google says, uh, uh, we suggest you to add these uh, keywords. Okay. So that was okay. just one. <laughs> I'm going to pick an 800 one now because maybe yes. with an 800 number, they actually will spend money smart. I don't know. I may get locked out. We'll see because I don't know how many I can do free. Looks like I can do two. Come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. We'll go to overview. Here it goes. And it's these guys aren't spending anything, even though it thinks they are. So you can basically go through and look at some of that stuff and take a look. This is all information that gives you ammo when you're trying to sell a site like this or like this or like this. Or if you're just trying to find people who are already paying for leads, you know who's spending money on AdWords. So we'll try another one just for fun while we're, we're waiting and then we'll come back. And then we'll get to some of the other topics that we have. Okay, this one. $2,600 a month they're spending. That's a lot of money. They're only ranked organically for 81 keywords, and they're paying for 842. First thing I would say is we can lower this by doing better SEO so that you rank organically for them instead of having to pay for them. And now you can sell them SEO and save them probably at least $1,000 a month if you do proper SEO. They'll still, still be spending $1,500 a month and still be getting traffic. And you can see who their competitors are. And again, you can click and see what keywords are actually buying. And you can say, look, these keywords make sense. These ones don't. Small business accounting. Okay. That's and the one they're the, paying. And the domain name definitely can be better. Dem yeah. But $17, $18 a click they're almost paying. That's a lot of money. $18 a click. Imagine if that was all organic traffic. Um, and you have to make sure that powered books. Is that actually their topic? Is it? Is it bookkeeping? I would guess it is. But. Who knows? Looks like exactly what you're looking for, bookkeeping and accounting. So, Can you open their site? Not that uh, we are really affiliated with them. Well, we're obviously not, but <laughs> I don't get power books. So, the let's list. see. Powered books. Uh, we spent uh, book, it's bookkeeping and AR. Okay. And this is their site. So then I would run an SEO report on their site with something else. I might as well throw that into this little demo. It's called SEO Audit. Um, where is it on my little tool list? There it is. So I would go here, I'd pop in the domain name and I'd get a full audit on their site that I would then email and send to them and show them the improvements that we could do. And you will see how they score for SEO, security, social, and a bunch of other stuff. And then you can see that their security uh, at the moment is not good, it's not complete yet. They've got almost no social presence. <clears throat> and they have no security. So they need to install WordFence or a security plugin uh, and go from there. SEO can obviously be improved because we saw they're overpaying for keywords. They don't do anything on social and you see a full report with their screenshot and everything that they're doing wrong and what they could fix with X's and everything else. This is called SEO, SE Optimer. SE, I'll put it in the window. And you can see, look, it gives you everything, how to fix it and everything else. And it's a complete report that gets emailed and you can download as a PDF and it shows the screenshot of their website right here. So it's pretty cool. See? Neat, eh? Tells you how fast it is, if they've got speed problems. I'm going to stop sharing because I think we've done enough. Wow. So what Adam has just been showing. That's the link I put in the side chat for you. I told you it's going to be a busy show today. So even if you haven't got a clue what is what, uh, okay, and then uh, one second, I'll share the link and I'll put it there. And then we have a question as well. And and then anybody can look it up here. And we have so much more to get to. We're just, just getting starting. Start. So, Adam, um, there is a question. 
took are these leads qualified have you tested the quality of the leads well there's no way to to you have to test the quality and qualify them yourself we know they're accurate we know they're the right people we have to figure out are we selling them the site are we selling them uh, a relationship are we going to sell them leads that we generate for them uh, you have to talk to them and see what their level of I mean, there's so many things you can do. Are you fixing their Facebook site? Are you building them a better website? Are you optimizing their SEO? Uh, let's stick to domains. So for now, I'm trying to sell them the domain name, uh, Miami Plumber, if we had it. Uh, I want to let them know that they are, they can be known as the, the plumber from Miami. It has natural indexing, lots of keywords that they're already paying for, and I can show them proof of what they're paying. You know, it's amazing power when you get on a phone call with somebody like we just looked up on SpyFu, and you say about that uh, book company, uh, what is it, Powered Books. Listen, yeah. I know you're spending $2,500 a month on AdWords. I can save you money and uh, get you more leads. And you know what they're doing. It's, it's incredibly yeah. powerful to know exactly what their budget is and, and come in with knowledge. And then it would be very easy to say to those the same uh, Powered Books, uh, you would say, I have this website on that domain. We have set up or we have set up a, a, phone, uh, a phone system. We can show you the report. We are getting that and that many inquiries, natural inquiries, just from the website traffic. And you know what's even better is if you generate a lead for them and then you give it to them and say, look, to show them you're serious and you give them the first lead, that also works very well to build trust. <laughs> Once it converts to a real, to real customer. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, they're not calling your brother like they do for references. So, oh, Adam's a great guy. Uh, I think he's the best. Uh, it's just somebody, some relative with the last name or some friend of yours. This is a real customer who has potential to buy something from them. So that's always uh, set up the site. That's why I say set up the site. Look at what leads come in and then start to improve the SEO on it. And you're building a small business with each one and then sell it off. The value of that site is how much leads uh, you can drive to it and how much it has and how much you can save the customer who's paying for those leads now. Wow. I told you that was going to be a big segment. We went to a couple of things I wasn't even expecting to go to. <laughs> and then even if you are thinking of your own business, you can, you can buy you can buy many domains in your you can, you can outsource a person. Oh, yeah. If you outsource okay. a person, you and can have people build them for you in bulk and then just keep calling these people and, and uh, call their, whatever it was, 100 different plumbers in Miami or whatever it is and see who's interested. You can also put the domain up for auction if you just want to sell the domain name, list the site, list the link to the auction and say, look, it's for whichever one realizes they want to be known as the main plumber and the main guy in Miami or whatever city it is. Publish a Google Analytics report. You can do whatever you want. Okay, awesome, Adam. So is there anything else left, left for lead generation tools? There's probably a lot left, but for now, Absolutely. I think we better hold it there because we've gone through about four or five different cool things in 50 minutes. So off we go. I'm just sh shutting down all the windows. So when we go to the new stuff, I know what to show. So, and then uh, let me run a host Maria ad, and then we'll get to the next part, to the second part. That will be about blockchain domains. And then the third part, it will be, uh, there will be a review from a guy called Riz from, uh, he is a user at NamePros. He has submitted a small portfolio of four domain names. And then we'll go to your questions and answers. And, and, of course, Adam will answer. and don't forget, I've already run a list for this group of really good domains expiring on Sunday that I'm going to share. And it's a real, there's one domain in there. It's probably a million dollar domain name if somebody gets it. And I'm not joking. So I have a feeling people will be really excited about that part too. So time to get your coffee and <laughs> one minute. Your lights up Yes, and I would add that at appsumo.com slash hostmaria, you can get hostmaria first year SSD cloud hosting for unlimited domain names, unlimited domain names for only four bucks, four bucks. That's a super promo. 
we we use AppSmart to, to get the first huge user databases. So go and go go and use this this one. So Adam, the next one, blockchain domains. Yeah. So um it's a new big thing that's popping up everywhere. And, and, well, well, once, so, sorry, Adam. And you can ask your questions. I We do see your questions, both Adam and me. But uh, all those ad, uh, questions to Adam, we'll put them in the last part. We'll, we'll start them from there. From this. I don't see the questions, uh, just so you know. I, I only I don't see any of them. Oh, thank but, you for not pushing them. And you would be concentrated on them only. <laughs> I'd be answering them. That's the problem. OK, so um, blockchain domains. So yes, there's thanks. a new thing that is coming out. Uh, they're called uh, DeFi uh, domains. Um, and what it is, is they are domains that you can register. And there's only two right now that are out. One is .crypto and one is .zil for Ziliqua, which is a Singapore um, coin that is out. I think it's only at about five cents right now. And Dot those Zell. are the only, pardon? Dot Z Z E L. yes. Z-I-L, I think. Z-I-L. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, that's a domain name. But the, the coin is Ziliqua, and I think its symbol is also Z-I-L or Z-I-L. Okay. Um, so they're out now. Um, here is what the uh, the coins, the, the coins, the domains actually do, is they're trying to sell you a domain name. It's through Unstoppable Domains. That's the name of the okay. company who sells them. Um, they're trying to sell you a domain name for $40 which is supposed to be a lifetime uh, domain, meaning no reg fees. And then on top of that, they want you to claim your domain. So you have to purchase it and then claim it. So it ends up being about $80 per domain. Um, I can show you what I have, and then I'll explain a bit more as we go through. I'm just going to share my screen again. Um, and then I'll tell you what my recommendations are. So. I only have the one. I registered Adam Dicker. Okay, and, and while Adam is there, uh, let me post in that uh, link in Unstoppable Domains. Uh, there is a there is a Telegram Telegram group. At tel uh, yes, they've got they have nine thousand members there. Yeah, yeah. So I only did uh, Adam Dicker Crypto so that I could turn my wallets, my addresses. So you don't have to remember characters of hundred or hundred twenty strings. Uh, and then you can send them to Adam Dicker and it'll know if it's uh, Ethereum or, or what network it's on. And then it'll go by that. And you actually have to enter them all in. So I've reserved it. I haven't claimed it yet. If I claim it, then I can go in and set up all that cool stuff with the uh, and Let with me the links. show the screen now. Yes. So we are in unstoppable domains. Okay. Yeah. That's true. And here's the domain that I said that uh, I registered. Let me, let me remove that one. Okay. So you register, and what's the name? So Adam, it's Adam Dicker. Adam, crypto. Adam that's Dicker. all. Uh, you should be able to see it now. And Adam Dicker. Crypto. Yes. Right. So okay. now I'm going to go back to my screen because there's not a whole lot to show here. So basically, what it is it's supposed to be like a deregulated uh, internet that's not uh, gives you unlimited access. It's supposed to compete with the registrars because there's only one charge for the domain names. They have a marketplace which is similar to a marketplace you would find on the domain market. All of the names are ridiculously overpriced, and it's going to be like 99.9% .9 of the domain community is buying into it, um, but it's useless. So I'm going to say if you're going to get anything, just get your own name .crypto so you can replace any wallets that you have with a single address. The future of domain names is probably going to be that all of the domain names are eventually going to be working with blockchain. So I wouldn't Why? suggest... Pardon? Why? Well, that's just, just the way I think it, it's going to be. I think that there's going to be uh, part of the uh, domain industry that's going to smarten up and not let these I, registers. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see the need. Well, you know, if you're not using crypto, and then there is no need. But if you are using crypto and you've got 20 or 30 different wallet addresses that you want to remember and keep track of, like there's one okay. for the – there's because there's different networks. There's the Ethereum network. There's the Tron network. There's now the Binance network. And then you've got all these financial exchanges like uh, Cupcake, Ice Cream, and uh, Ape. They're, they're all different areas and coins and addresses. So you just store them all in one wallet. You don't have to even think about them. People are doing that on their phones right now. So – it gives you an easier address to give somebody if you want to send something. So if I want you to send me Ethereum, I won't have to give you my my address. I can just give you the domain name and it'll automatically route to my address without giving you that long character number. 
Oh, is that the way it happens? That That's the way it's going to happen, yeah. It's tied to your domain name. So you can send whatever crypto you have to a domain name. Yeah. And then it will, it will be auto automatically deposited deposited into the, the, the relevant uh, wallet. Yeah. And then, now, you can, then you can probably keep dynamic wallet addresses as well. Yep. So can, wow, that's smart. And I think eventually it's just a, to me, it's just really a feature of a domain name. So I think eventually a lot of the registrars that are out there now, which are going to get killed on this blockchain domain things with only one registration fee, even though it's 40 bucks or whatever it is. And then you have to claim it on the network, which means you claim it and you add all your wallet addresses to it so that it knows where to go. And so that the different networks know how to get to your wallet. Cause uh, there are, it's not just uh, Ethereum and, and uh, Bitcoin. Uh, networks now. Now you've got Tron with their own network. Like I said, you've got Binance, uh, Finance. You've got a bunch of them with their own wallet. So all it does, it gives you one place to put all your addresses. But if you're not using crypto, you don't need to worry about it. You won't really be missing out right now. But if you're in crypto, you should probably get a blockchain domain. And it comes with, you can build a website on it just like everything else. So that's why it's interesting. I, I don't want to spend too much time on it. I just want to tell you that it's there and it's something that's going to be coming up uh, much more frequently. You'll hear it a lot. Um, and by the way, I will give you a tip, um, register blockchain domains dot whatever your country is now, cause there's tons of them available. So get them. It'll be huge. And you'll th believe me, I'll get flowers from everybody. No, no, everybody just, just close. I will, I will cut it out. And I checked, there's tons of them that are there. So enjoy. Get your country. Yeah. There was not, IE, not, not there was country. Sweden, there was tons of them that were still available. So. But blockchain domains, don't worry about blockchain. You can get blockchain domain if you want, but domains with the plural is the one to get. So for example, let us give Ireland. Um, well, I can quickly look up some, but anything with the word blockchain on it. Um, oh, don't get them from the unstoppable domains. Those ones you just get from a regular registrar, sorry. Okay, so Eddie, Eddie is asking, so say again, please. Let us, let us run a quick, uh, quick sample. Yeah, I'm logging in myself now if I can find my phone. And and whoever is watching, look, amount of information Adam is giving is if there is no you we, you cannot even put a, a dollar sign on it. Well, you can, but on, on, on okay, car service. Okay, okay, that will be later on. We can review those domains. Uh, and yes, and do put, do put your questions in and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll start putting up the, the public questions one by one in order as they are listed. So should, I am... should we go for half an hour more? Yes. Now it's we're up to you. 50 cents. Yeah. So blockchaindomains.eu, $6. Um, Blockchaindomains.eu. Uh, can, 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 can you show your screen, please? Mm -hmm. All I'm doing today is sharing my screen with you guys. Again, this is just my specific registrar, but uh, there you go. So there's some of them. Um, .be is available, .at. Uh, there's .eu up there at the top. I'm sure there's more. I just picked Europe, so there's DKs available. Okay. Uh, Spain is available. I'd get Spain. France is available. Finland. You can see I would get some of these. Greece. Here's Ireland. Get them. IT. And which one have you bought? Even your LV is available. LV Latvia, yes. So what have you got for yourself? Uh, honestly, I haven't got uh, all that many. I picked up a few that I wanted, and I'm negotiating on other ones. Um, which so ones? that's like the Canadian one and stuff like that, the .ca, and even the .com I put an offer in. Okay, and Supple Domains is the best domain provider company ever. Okay, why does he say that? We have to know. Uh, we, we will see. I did start conversations with Unstoppable Domains maybe a month ago, something like that, and we'll get them. We'll get them, and we'll have a chat with them in a, in a live stream. By the way, you can check our our YouTube channel, and we have, I think, the best ever uh, interview or conversation on SV, Bitcoin SV, the, uh, Bitcoin SV, Aaron Holstmary. Absolutely fantastic. We've caught absolutely fantastic interview. So, so that's my blockchain tip of the day. Blockchain tip of the day. 
get your blockchain domains. Because nobody knows about them, not even in domains. They're not paying attention. They're busy trying to register stupid names like uh, Michael Jordan uh, at crypto.crypto. I mean, they're registering dumb ones, ridiculous stuff, and they're not paying attention to the to the CCTLDs and the uh, top level t uh, domains. Okay, Adam, and now if we could go, let us, uh, let us say we are talking to somebody who cannot follow up the speed of your thoughts. Can we go through points? One, two, three, four, five, what you should do. For crypto, for uh, the domains on the blockchain or for something yes. else? Yes, yes, for domains on blockchain. So probably. One, Probably what you should do is get your own name, like Eddie De La Cruz uh, at dot crypto dot com from Unstoppable Domains, um, and then if you have a wallet, you should connect your crypto addresses to it after you claim it. And then the other thing you should do is look for domains, top level domains like com or your CCTLDs that have blockchain uh, domains uh, available. And you can also look for things like blockchain domain marketplace. You can do all blockchain marketplace. You can do all kinds of different things. Uh, blockchain auction, whatever you think you can get that's a really top level term Why? Uh, that, that fits. Because eventually all the, a lot of those domains are going to be going to other auction sites like Sado and stuff like that. You can't buy them yet on Sado or anywhere else, but eventually a lot of these types of domains are going to go there. Blockchain domains are huge right now. Today, the domain win.crypto sold for 100000 That's true. I saw that. I saw the auction. But what I can tell you about it is that it's allowing companies. So here's the other benefit of these things. So a company wants uh, me to send them uh, something, a dollar or $10 to get into a program. I don't have to copy down their address. I don't have to copy it and paste it. I, I can just send it to win.crypto. And it'll automatically, if it's Ethereum, go to their Ethereum address and there's no work to be done there. So win.crypto, the short ones are definitely beneficial because they're easy to remember. But some of them don't make any sense. Like uh, piano uh, service or piano tuners, like locksmith.crypto, some of the service ones make sense because if you're a moving service like a plumber, okay. you would want it, but not just the there's some stuff like furniture and stuff that uh, unless you're selling furniture, it doesn't make sense. <clears throat> There's a lot of ridiculous ones being registered is what I'm trying to say, like with every other domain name. And this seems to be a, a move that crypto industry has been like many, many cryptos have been looking, looking into Dash, have been trying to replace addresses with emails, actually. Yes. Yes. So this and is their way of doing it. And usernames. And yes. This is their way of doing it. Okay. So uh here's a question eddie dot blockchain domain uh there is no blockchain domain so it'd have to be eddie dot crypto but that one would be a fortune so it would be eddie dot crypto or eddie's wallet at crypt uh, at crypto it could be yes it could be anything. Eddie one or eddie one yeah but you want something yeah. this is a lifetime thing so you want something simple. that's going to be remembered and, and simple so it could be eddie d or eddie whatever but something that people are going to remember something similar to a good email address yeah you know? and they have not started selling two or three letter uh cryptos yet that's for a premium auction down the road but uh you can also pay for your domains with crypto and there's with ethereum and all kinds of stuff so it's a big industry uh, nobody really knows about it yet um some people do but not to the level they should so google it and so go to go to uh unstoppable domains unstoppable domains get your name or your name, surname, dot crypto. Yeah, there's and another then, one. Then, then, then try to claim it. I'm looking up on my phone. There's another one uh, that uh, Eddie will probably know or whoever will probably know. It's called Ocean something or other. I just have to look it up. I forget what it is. But it's an auction house already for these types of domains. Wow. Uh, I'm just looking it up on my phone. Uh, but it's Ocean something or other. Hmm. If somebody has it or knows it, feel free to post it. Um, oh, oh, it's OpenSea.io. O p e n s e a.io. Okay. -E okay. Open -C OpenSea. I'll type it in the window. Okay. OpenSea.io. Uh, you can find lots of art up there. There are crypto artists as well. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Do not get involved in the auctions for these dot crypto names. They're a huge waste of money. Huge, right now. Nobody, I don't know why they spend $100,000, probably a casino, 
that bought Win dot uh, crypto, but huge waste of money. Enter at your own risk. Well, that covers the two main topics for today. Awesome, Adam. So, what is the next? So, the names. The names. Oh yes, and one name <sighs> is. One name is really worth it. So I, I have the list of names that went last week. We had so many good names that we reviewed last yes. week. That, and I was paying attention to some of them. And there were some that I really wanted. So what, and some, happened, so what happened to Finn Jobs? Uh, I don't know. I think it got delayed a week or somebody got it. But I think it's it got delayed a week. I can tell you that I picked up uh, Click Recruiters, which is what I wanted. Um, I also picked up... Um, I hate to say it. I picked up the the adult one that was in the list too because it had so much traffic. Yes. Um, and then other people picked up. I'm trying to see which other one I picked up, but the only one I really wanted was that uh, that click recruiter. So I was happy to get that. Oh, chilled beverages. I got that too, but I don't know what to do with it yet. These were all reg fee domains. Okay. So it's like, wow, yes. how did people miss them? So if you could, uh, so for those who didn't watch the, the show last week. Oh, you, you missed a great show. It was the best show we ever did besides this one. So if you could give a quick background story, please. Thank you. Me? Yes. Oh, uh, the background was um, I was showing you a domain tool that I have, um, and I used it to filter out a list of 110,000 domain names to find what I thought were the top 10 from that list. And we had some really good ones uh, from that list. Now, I've also done it for a list that's going to be dropping this Sunday, and I'm prepared to show you those names uh, and go over them with you for about five, 10 minutes. So we can do that if you want now. Is that a yes? Both hands. So let us see. Yes, no, in the comments. Should Adam analyze the next list? Thank you, Adam. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the tool again. So there's the tool. And uh, the list okay. of names that I've got from it which are quite good. And I'll tell you some of them and it's surprising. So what I did was I went through the list. I went through and I analyzed, I imported. Okay. How, how big is the list? Uh, the list, uh, it normally has like 110,000. I narrowed yes. it down to 67,000 because okay. I narrowed it down by comms. So, so we can put it back here. <laughs> the last yeah. Weeks. And then I went to uh, 16,492 word domains. And from that, I picked out about 20. So I'm going to share a different screen with you, the one that okay. actually has the domains that I chose. Yes. And then you're going to be surprised at some of the stuff that is in that list because I know I was. So let's get back. Let's share the meat. So here's the meat. This is for Sunday. So for this Sunday at namejet.com. Uh, yeah, let me make it a little bit bigger for you guys so you can see it. Zoom okay. in. Zoom in. No, not at Namejet, at any registrar you want. At any registrar, okay. At any registrar. Oh, so, the other, yes. Uh, they're just drops. So Architect yes. Assistant, 131,000 searches. Good job, Domain. Assisted Backup. I thought that was a great name. Wow. Who doesn't want an assisted backup? Yep. Ba basketball dunk, so-so. It's more of an object that you throw basketballs as you dunk somebody. Bilingual Physicians, 8,200. Building Course, 8,400. Buyer's experience, so so. Cali tutors for California tutors, and then yes. CA tutors for California tutors. I actually yeah. like Cali tutors better. It only has 10 searches, but what a brandable for Cali tutors. Wow, you can build up a site and just go for. Yeah. Uh, certifiable genius, yeah, so so. Mm -hmm. I thought City Blueprints is good for an architect. Look at this one clay paintings. I didn't even know they existed. 674,000 searches a month. That's that, a lot. That is a beautiful name. Club Nude. Lots of strip clubs called Club Nude. 1.4 million searches with this name and this club. Community Memorials I thought was good. Contract Converter. Cooking Molds. Big. People use it for cookies, for whatever they want. Cooking Molds. Crafts Vendor. So-so. Cremation Plot. Don't know if it's a thing. 77,000. Crip Maker. Cuddle Therapists. Okay. So-so. Okay. <laughs> data pioneers, really nice. Yeah. Data that pioneers. Is, that's and then a beautiful brand. Dating name. site, dating Catholics, why not? And then look at this one. Who knew it was so popular? Dildo date, 502,000 a year. I don't know what they're doing on that date. 
Download defense, <laughs> 35,000 people, and it could be a virus software affiliate site. Premium ghostwriter. Middlemen domains. Isn't that what domainers do? They're middlemen. Yep. The fourletter.com, IKDB. Uh, kids oh, kids yeah. debit cards, 17,000. Here's a fun one. Bat soup. Is that too soon? I put 205,000 a day looking for a month looking for bat soup. Okay. Partmerchant.com. If you're selling car parts, you're a part merchant. Could be for anything. Absolutely. Car parts, piano yes. parts, whatever. Good traffic. And then if I scroll down, I've hidden the good one, the one that's going to be like a million dollar type domain name. And I'm not joking. If you're ready, you hear about mentions all the time on Facebook. You click a button to mention somebody, right? You click this and it says mention that person, mention whatever. Ementions.com. Huge, huge, huge traffic. Huge. Look at the numbers. One billion, 1.6 billion searches a month. E mentions dropping on Sunday. There you go. That is a <clears throat> that's a big one. Moment of silence. I mean, I can't go to my Facebook thing and I click a post and it says mention this person or whatever. You're always talking about mentions on the internet. So e mentions, electronic mentions, extremely valuable domain name. Oh, it's a tool that I developed and made, and I've only been selling a few copies. It's five hundred dollars US. Uh, last week after the video, I sold three copies, and I'm only going to sell another three copies, and that's it. So if anybody wants it, you can email me, adam.dicker at gmail.com. But I'm not uh, too anxious to sell it, so don't worry if, you don't, if you're not interested. It's a really cool tool. But those domains I found in under an hour, and I looked through everything properly. Okay. Yes, please. So we saw, so we saw this one. Okay. That's a really good domain, e-mentions. I mean, you can look at any Facebook profile and you click a picture and it says, do you want to mention this person? Mention, mention, mention everywhere. It's a big one. And these are names you're not going to find because people are going to miss them. It's a Sunday. People don't do a lot of domain browsing on Sunday. They ignore them. And you're going to get some really good names out of that list. There's a couple that I would like for sure. So which ones you are going after? Hmm, let me pull up the list again. Um, IKDB. Wait, um, yes. No, no I, don't, I don't do the four-letter ones. Um, probably I like Part Merchant. Part Merchant. Um, okay. I also like, um, I don't know if uh, Cooking Molds is good. Cooking One of the top five Cooking Molds. Club Nude is an easy sell. Um, and then I like the Cali Tutors. Nobody's going to go for that. And then CA Tutors and Kelly Tutors, yes. Yeah, I mean, an architect assistant, it's good. It's a job one, 131,000, so I like that one too. There's about five or six I think are good, so we'll see. I know they're all going to be gone after Sunday, but I like to check Sunday night to see if anybody left anything. Oh, Data Pioneers is also good. And the other one, where was the one about backup? Because that one was really good. Yes. Uh, um, oh, Assistant could, Backup. Yes, could you share the, the screen as well, please, again? Which screen? What does he want to see? Oh, maybe both of them. Maybe both of them. The list? Could you, us, could you show us once again the list the way? Yeah, I can share the list. The list and then and then your tool again as well. Both of them, please. I can only do one a at a time. And then Addy, you have to go back to the last. So that's list. the list. So, and, okay. And we can post it in the uh you can post it if you want to. I mean it's fine. But that's the list. And here's the e mentions. I can move it up now since there's no no more secrets. So I like that one. I like uh, parts. Uh, bat soup, I think we can get rid of. Kids debit card, it, uh, it's interesting, but I think we can get rid of that. That is a big, big that is a big business, Adam. Kids debit cards? The kids debit cards is a huge business, yes. Okay, well, somebody really? else can go for that. Yes. Middlemen domains, it was just a joke about domainers. Uh, premium should... ghostwriter isn't bad. Um, so there's lots of them in here. Dating Catholics, I think that's okay. Um, and we can make these lists available at the end of the show. I mean, it's no big deal. I'm not hiding it. Uh, but I read basketball dunk. Not so crazy about that one. But I do like these two up here. Assisted uh, backup and architect assistant. There's lots of money in doing backups and helping people with backups. So Yes. Take a screenshot if you guys want it. Feel free. Print screen if you don't know how. I'll put them all together for you on one window.
and the will put it into this yes and i will send, send me a list and we will put it in the comments section of i will video. do that right now so that you can do whatever you want with it and oh it doesn't uh doesn't go the whole way it cuts off i'll stop sharing uh what else did you want to see the tool again uh let me open up the tool and i'll go back okay um, they can still ask questions while we show the tool Yes, all I see, I see cremation plot, uh, crypto may. Yeah, so it cuts off. I'll send you the yes. list. Yes. yes so no what the list will do is, is it allows you to check for dictionary terms, geographical domain names like Barker, Barker, Bennett, Gates, whatever you want with cities in them, or you can do a previous list of keywords that you have. I actually install this on your computer for you uh, through uh, TeamViewer. And here's the list. Short means anything under four characters or less. And if you click something, it moves it over here and shows you the exact match search count. So we can click something, it'll add it to the list, and it says there's 61,800 for NQMY. And then, you, again, you can search for one word, two words, or three word domains on that list. And then you can decide if you want to. I thought inscriptured may be something, but I don't know. I don't, it's not a word I would use. And then you can look for if you wanted to start with two words and you want to start with, I don't know, hat. You could search for that, and it'll give you anything that contains the word hat in it there. If you want to start with hat, you can do that. And it allows me to just narrow down what I'm looking for, hatcher, tails, hat ages, and so on. Really good, really easy tool. I use it all the time, every day, and it makes things so much simpler. It's time to stop sharing. And all you do is you import a TXT file of what's going to drop that day, and off you go. <coughs> Very easy. Three awesome. more copies. That's all I'm selling. So one probably goes to Bill. Uh, okay. Not surprising. Not surprising. Um, anyway, so we're done with the list. We're done with the crypto, the blockchain stuff, and we're done with lead gen. Next is the portfolio, I guess. Where is it searching from? Uh, so it searches from uh, any list. So I go to namejet.com and I download their daily drop lists. And I just, all I do is I point to the drop list and uh, it loads it. And then it just searches from whatever names are dropping that day. And then I filter it out because I only want to see .coms. You can filter it out by any um, type of domain you want. I can show you if you need to see it or we can skip to the next part. <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, and all about that tool, please go to, to, the previous, to the previous show and watch it and put it on the big screen. You'll yeah, it's, it's a nice. really good good video. The last one we did was on the tool, and it was how to find uh, five or ten good names out of uh, 100,000. So that's the tool I used to do it. Fantastic. Thank, thank you. And now we have a domain portfolio submitted by the name, uh, by, the, by a guy named Riz. Uh, for, uh, his uh, main domain is rooted.com, I understand, and his domains are these, xshow.com digital digital I, I already I got a, sorry it. i got an i already got an email from bill that was fast um okay so let's look at these domain names so x show um okay. digital it i guess that would be soon.org and prowler okay, so okay so. yeah i think it's digital it which yes. is should be is yes. good um x show um x show is good yeah, I don't know what you would, you could use it for adult show, but you could use it for lots of different things. Um, digital IT, um, everything in IT is going digital. That one's not bad. Soon.org could be a, a calendar type application, which I kind of like. It could be lots of different things. Uh, Prowler, I kind of like because it's a, Prowler is like a sneaky word, like almost it'll go in and do an analysis of your website for you yes. type of thing and maybe good for like a, a website audit tool or something else. There's lots of benefits to, to those. So let's price them out. I would put them in my order, and this is no bearing on anybody else. I would put Prowler first, only because it's a real good single word.com that people, everyone knows what a Prowler is, I believe. Okay. Um, and I think Prowler on the internet is really cool because it does things in the background, just like the internet. I would put Prowler at, uh, and this is going to surprise people, put Prowler at 10K to start right now and put a site on it. It's even better. 
soon.org, probably around four to five K. Um, Digi digital IT. I think that one could be good too. I don't know what I'd do with it yet though. So I'd probably put it at about four K and then X show. I have to find out what X show would be. Um, but there's lots of value in that one too. So all four of these domains have good value in them. I really think these are some of the better ones we've seen as just quick, uh, appraisals, but I really like Prowler. I think Prowler is a really good name and there's so many different things you could do it. There was a piece of software I used to use it in old days and it was like a, something and it had a prowler as a mascot so there's lots of things you can do just by having it do anything and adam you have so many tools can we open one tool of yours and check up that keyword which one prowler um i'm trying to think which one what tool i would use to check it um yeah i wouldn't probably use one of my tools for that i would use okay. I'm um, just trying to think whose tool I would use. So, for... so what would you do? What would you do? One so, tool, two tools. Let's well, the first a... thing I do is I put it in in Google, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Sh yes, shall I'll share, share my screen. Thank you. Thank you. I'll share. I love I to share. I love to share. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is share my screen, and the first thing I'm going to do with any domain okay. name is I go to the Google. I'll minimize the shrink it down a bit. Fantastic. Thank um, you. I'll go to the search. I'll type it in here and I'll look at the search volume up here. This is a tool uh, that's added. It's called, uh, it's a big K. That's it there. It's called Keywords Everywhere. Mm -hmm. And basically what it does is it puts these little search volumes and CPCs and stuff under everything that you type. And then on the side here, it gives you uh, other related keywords. So it would be prim it would be a car, Plymouth uh, Prowler, Chrysler Plower, Prowler, Prowler. That's what it does. And it's all about cars, it looks like. So for them, it's about cars. For us, it's not about cars. It's about what else, what's the brand that this could be? So you look at, there's 22,000 searches per month with the word Prowler, and it tells me it's a great name to build some sort of site up. And then I'm going to look and see what it's targeting. I'm not going to target the car company, obviously. I'm not okay. really going to target car companies. I don't care about the videos because I'm thinking about somebody to sell it. Uh, again, this is all about car companies. That's the problem. So now I'm going to have to look at, there may be a gym called Prowler. Uh, there could be a few other things. And I'm going to really dig deep and see there was a movie called The Prowler, too old. It's 81. Um, this is all about cars. Um, I don't know if you want to do something maybe in temporarily and put a um, an affiliate site up to um, sell some sort of cars on a, on a cars.com or whatever site it is. I don't know. Uh, I would tend to stay away from the uh, same thing that it has to do with. Oh, here's Prowler trailers. So you may want to try to get a hold of one of these guys. They're definitely going to be interested in, in something like this Prowler travel trailer. It looks like this company is quite big. So I would try to sell it to them first. That looks like it would be my first uh, target is trying to sell it to the trailer place rather than the company car. Cause they already have a brand but there's lots of things you could do. And then if I just wanted to look for more keywords, I'm trying to think of which tool I'd want to use. Um, well, that's not really it. I, I, I really want to check SpyFu. I don't know what other tool I would check. Probably not really this one. There's a guy I'm thinking of, but I can't remember his name, but it wouldn't be this site. It's, oh, I know it now, Neil. Neil Patel, that's the one. That's where I would look oh, for more keyword Neil, analysis. Neil, Neil Patel. Uber Suggest is his okay. tool. So I'd probably go here and I do a little research in here for it. Just, well, that's the list of domains. We don't need that. We'll just type in Prowler and go see what else is in here. And then he'll give us some targets and things and I'd look for some of that stuff. You can register for a free account to get more stuff and he'll go through and tell you again, but it's not gonna be much different than what we already saw. It's still gonna be cars. So we'll let this load and then we'll uh, take a look at what else we can pull up. So again, look at search volumes gone up in October. So you can see it was nothing till October. Maybe they just released the, Pl the Plymouth Prowler. I don't know. Again, it's all about cars and Spider-Man. Huge traffic. There's the 22,000 consistent with what we saw in Google, exactly the same number. Um, and then you can look at how hard it is to rank. It's not hard at all. 38 is fairly easy to rank. It goes up to 100. And then you can look at this one, which is the paid difficulty, uh, competition in paid search. There's no competition in paid search, really. It's a one. And then basically from there, I would just go to what I would look at, and I'd start to approach the trailer company and see if I could sell it to them. 
And then if I may add, uh, there are two simple things. There are open open corporates. Adam, you must you must know them. Mm -hmm. open, cor open corporates. So you would put in the name, paste, roller. You would do search for companies. Here you go. Uh, 278 company names containing the word uh, proler. You can, yeah. you, you can, of course, you can hide, uh, inact uh, hide inactive, exclude inactive, exclude. Here you go. 123 companies, active companies that would contain the word proler. Here are jurisdictions, uh, United Kingdom. And if you would go to United Kingdom, you would go to British company's house. You would paste it in. You would put it in. And you would see former name this. And there is Prolo UK Limited. I think you've got a lot of opportunity to sell this name. You're going to have to do the work and build a list. And there, but I think and it's worthwhile. And there Limited. Yeah. And so. I would say, Adam, what do you say? Prolo.io. Yeah, if I mean. somebody you... is active on Prolo.io, yeah, they definitely would be willing to spend 10 plus K for prowler.com. It's all about just finding the right buyer at this point. And don't have it parked on a page somewhere um, and offer it for cheap where people can post a bid or anything. I would take it down off of a park page while you're trying to sell it. Awesome. Fantastic. So uh, let's go back to the questions. Is there, Adam, anything else? No, I'm good. Uh, Prowler was my favorite. It, it wasn't mine, but yes. But we showed a, you how many companies would be interested in buying it. So now it's more your favorites. It's getting there. Yep. Absolutely. There was a, what do you think about gambling, going after gambling companies? For which, for what? Uh, targeting them with domain names. It, it depends if it makes offering, sense. Of offering them, do they buy good domain names? Yes. Yes. And they don't really, they have lots of money and they don't really have the value. I can tell you that I sold bet to win, bet the number two, and then the word win.com okay. years ago to a, uh, a casino. I don't know what it is now, but it, I sold it back then. Okay. Very good. Okay. Let us see. Here you go. Mozovna. Hello, Mr. Dicker. I just found this domain, flyingfoxyacht.com. Would you recommend I, that I register it? I would have to Google it, but from first analysis, I would say no. I'm not sure what it, what it means. Um, I'm just trying to see flying fox yacht. Oh, it's it's, a, it's a, something famous. Uh, there was a big flying fox luxury super yacht. Who owns fly, yacht flying? Um, I'd be careful with a trademark, um, but it was a charter at one point. So I'd probably say no. I'd probably say don't register it um, in case there is a trademark issue. And I, I'm not sure who you would sell it to. The market is way too low, way too small for you to be able to find somebody who wants it. So you would have only one possible buyer and then well, a, guy, a guy with definitely lawyers behind him. Yeah, if I was going to call my yacht Flying Fox, I'd register it. Other than that, I probably wouldn't. And since I don't have a yacht and I don't like boats, probably not. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, Shadeh, DeFi and Handshake. Observations and thoughts. So I do think it's viable because there's a use for it. There's a use case for it. With all the cryptos that are out there, the only ones that actually have any real value are the ones that you actually read the white paper, understand that there's a, a real place for them and their application inside of the world. Um, so yeah, I think that uh, Defy and Handshake, uh, I think they're good. I think that, like I said, I registered adam.dicker.crypto just to ease my wallet addresses. Would I invest $100,000 in win.crypto? Absolutely not. Not if I had a trillion dollars. It's not worth it. They'll come down. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought if, if, the, if, the, if, the, if a buyer is watching. But, well, they definitely know what they've done. So what about this domain, Ethereum Marketing? Is it Ethereum.Marketing? If it's Ethereum.Marketing, I would certainly keep it. I wouldn't drop it, and I would build a, uh, a huge portal with information and affiliates all over it. 
because there's and I would have links to every Ethereum Ethereum coin in their Ethereum network where people could buy it, and uh, I'd have links for it. But I'd build it up, it, even if it's Ethereum marketing or Ethereum marketing.com, both of those I would keep. And those who do not know, there are tons and tons of tokens, both yeah. known and unknowns. They are called ERC20 tokens that mm -hmm. live on that ecosystem. And, and the thing is, there used to be just one ecosystem, and now there's becoming more and more ecosystems. And you want to invest in the companies that are actually uh, creating those uh, networks and ecosystems. So you buy their coin, not so much all the coins on their network. Okay, that's, that's absolutely um, carsalis.com. I have to look it up. I have no idea what it is. Sounds like say Alice, but <laughs> yeah, if it's uh, oh, wait, it's, it's in a different language. Um, there is a, a carsalis, it means something, and I can translate it. Let me see what yes. it says. It says it's French, but it doesn't look it's not French to me. I had a missing Canada, so. Your yeah, French it says Carsalis. My French is excellent. Carsalis. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cat basket. It says Carsalis Car Rental. Um, and Meteor, you know, it could just be a brand. There's a company named Carsalis in Morocco. I would try to sell it to them. That's about what I would do with that one. I would, I'd, I would try to sell it to Morocco, unless you have some other meaning that you know of. Hmm. Could be okay. a typo for car sales. And... But otherwise, it is. It wouldn't be. No. No. Not something I'd buy. Okay. Very good. So once again, so what was the tool called? <laughs> it's called the. It's called. It's called Adams Expired Domain Search Tool. <laughs> uh, I just added the Adams in front of it, but it's called the Expired Domain Search Tool. You can email me if you want a copy, adam.dicker at gmail.com. It's 500 US per copy. And there's only, I've sold three so far. I'll sell three more and that's it. Okay. And how much do you, do you see those uh, domains going for? Those the, domain names that you put them, uh, you, that the list you put out on the screen. Oh, um, well, you know, they could, honestly, there's a lot of could, them. That could, people, you, could you put it once again on the screen? You're talking about the nice. list for Sunday, right? Yes. Sunday drop. Let me make sure I haven't deleted it. Okay, I haven't. I wouldn't delete it anyway because I haven't done anything with it, but application window. Okay, that's the list. Bang. So Thank I you. don't know. I mean, they could go, if you're lucky enough, like last week I got some for $10. So that was like, wow. Um, so I thought that was good. Uh, some of them like data pioneers. Uh, I think you could sell that one easily for a couple K right away. Same with Cremation Plot, uh, Crypt Maker, um, Club Nude for sure is a $5,000 name. Okay. Uh, Clay Paintings, very good. Um, City Blueprints, I mean, really good. Cali Tutors and CA Tutors, probably $2,500 a piece. Um, assisted Backup, that could be a 10K name, 5 to 10K uh, with some work. Architect Assistant, uh, it's a three three k name for sure. And then E Mentions. That one, like I said, I don't. That could go for anything. If Facebook decides they want to pick it up or somebody else, it's a huge, huge name. Even dating Catholics is a two thousand dollar name. I mean, you know exactly what you're looking for when you go there, and there's lots of possible uses for that site from people who want to start a dating site. Contract converter. I don't know whether people need help con taking a contract and turning it into PDF or editable PDF or anything like that. There's lots of cool stuff. I'll leave you with one other thought besides the list. Any site that you ever had on archive.org that you had that you lost can be rebuilt for you exactly the same way as it was uh, using a couple other tools that maybe we'll get to another time. But there's lots of cool stuff that you can do if you've uh, found a site that you used to have on archive.org that no longer have. It's just another tidbit. But I mean, I, these names are good names. How legal is it? What, to rebuild the site? Yes. If it was your site, it's 100% legal. If you're going to yes, rebuild somebody else's somebody site. Somebody else's? No, I wouldn't do that. Not if, if it's not somebody else's. Um, even if you catch the domain name and then go look what it was and you see a cool site and want to rebuild it, probably not smart to go ahead and copy exactly what they did. Uh, I wouldn't do it that way. But I've done sites before. I've 
had like eight copies and I switched the site, let's say, I think it was highimpactsites.com at the time, which was my company. And I built it four or five different ways. And I decided I wanted to go back to one of the earlier ways and I couldn't find it. So I just went to archive.org and rebuilt it from there. So there's lots of cool things and cool applications that you can do, but I wouldn't suggest stealing other people's sites and copying them, no. Okay, uh, here's another question. Uh, what will be the value of the domain name business.crypto? So um, that was a friend of mine, Mark, who sold business.com years and years ago. Um, I would say business.crypto is good. There's no question about it. Um, based on win.com or win.crypto selling for 100, I would have to say this is a 500K plus name, but that's only putting it on the scale of win.crypto. Um, but for me, things that are simpler, like dentures.crypto or things that I'm going to actually buy, like mugs.crypto or T-shirts or stuff that I'm actually going to be able to sell and just have them send an address or, um, I don't know, branding stuff like hostmaria.crypto, I can actually accept payments that way. And then I could even sell branded merchandise if I wanted to. Those have good value too. But I'd put this at a half million right now for now and see where it actually sells. But that's today. Tomorrow, it could be like uh, six months from now when technology changes, it could be worth uh, almost nothing. Or it could be worth even more. Who knows? That's that's great. Okay, flying, flying. Okay, that was that has been. Okay, and are you cold calling these people? It is asking. Um, which people? So, uh, so um, once you once you find uh, once you have a list of leads. How, yes. would you, how, how would you approach them for the newer watchers who haven't seen the previous shows? Thank you. You mean to buy the, to say I have like Miami plumbers? Yes. Are we back to that? Yes. So I Thank basically you. call them up and I would say, um, first I'd send them an email and then I'd follow up with a phone call. So maybe my name may be familiar if they saw their email. Keep it short and say, hey, um, the guy who had uh, Miami plumbers uh, no longer has it. It's a really good business name. It matches your business exactly. It has 22,000 searches a month. Uh, and I think you'd be um, may have great benefits in owning the domain name and getting these people as leads since it matches you exactly. And that's all I'd say. And now I do the same thing when I call them up and say, hey, I emailed you about Miami Plumbers. Um, I think it's a good name. There's 22,000 people a month looking for it. You're paying for ads now. Um, wouldn't you rather just have the leads that come in from this site rather than have to pay $1,500 or 800 or 300 a month for your leads? But I would definitely follow up with a phone call. I, I, okay, sorry, go ahead. Oh. Yes, yes, go on. Yes. No, I, sometimes and I, I don't I want to come off as as normal here. Like I think you selling Latvian names with a Latvian uh, accent is better than me calling them with an English accent or Canadian accent and trying to sell them Latvian names. Um, I don't know how to say that without sounding uh, weird or rude, but I just think that somehow I think it's better if you have somebody else that can help you like I wouldn't try to sell somebody in, unless they called me about the name originally um, to get it, then I would be able to respond. But having a phone call with somebody who may or may not speak the same language is different. It's harder to do with people. Absolutely. Absolutely. The language barrier sometimes is, is quite huge. Oh, for sure. I mean, I've had it with people that I've sold a, a guy sold a, a reno domain to. He spoke uh, a language that I didn't really speak well, and it was very hard to go back okay. and forth. I could have used a translator. So how was it? It was very hard. I ended up talking through to his wife through Facebook, and she was communicating to him and showing him examples. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's sometimes how it goes. So if if you're trying to sell certain CT, CCTLDs, uh, it's better to be able to use them, uh, use people or know people in that area who can help with translation if needed. Local is always best. Let's put it that way. Okay. And is the email? Uh, no, Adam no. dot, well, you know what it is, right? Yes. Adam so, dot Dicker. So on the, on the screen, you can see Adam Dicker, Adam dot Dicker dot, ah, uh, at, at gmail. Yeah, no more dots. Don't confuse them. Yes. Adam yes. dot Dicker at gmail.com, or you can use Adam at HB as in Hanna Barbera dot CA, Adam at HB dot CA. Both those will work. Very good. God bless you. Okay. God bless you and everybody else. What about this one? Hmm. Interesting. 
I like when they that. tell us what it means because they know. So the problem is if you have to tell us, maybe a lot of people don't know. D okay, step. So, so dig digital yuan, so they are not still available, are they? The, Ch the Chinese cryptocurrency. It but is, he's got uh, he's got a German uh, CCTLD there on there as well. So yes, it's yes, interesting. Yes. I'm Googling. Yeah, it says it's still available. China's national digital currency. It's interesting. I'm just not sure I like it with the .de. If it was a com, I think I'd be happier with it, but still good. Bank. Well, the banks, so, the bank, banks slowly do offer their, their clients to open the cryptocurrency wallets one, one by one. But those banks will not change the names for their websites. I no, think, so. no. So here's a funny story for you. Back when I first got into domain names, maybe a year or two in, I registered every country with bank and every country with bank of. So I had uh, Bank of Iceland, Iceland Bank, and I did it with every country. And okay. I had hundreds of them. And then finally, I just, after about 10 years of owning them, I said, I forgot it and got rid of them. But I had like, uh, I don't know, Bank of Yugoslavia or whatever it was at the time. Uh, Bank of Cyprus, and now they, they have Bank of Cyprus. And then I had Cyprus Bank, and I had like 200 combinations of different bank names, and I never made any money with them. So that was the end of that. Uh, so, so there were no leads, no inquiries, nothing. No, I, I would. First of all, I was too early, and second of all, it was before trademarks, or I would have been in big trouble anyway, because a lot of them have of, their banks of now. Of course, of course. So lucky even, for me, even, I dropped them. <laughs> Even even if there was yes Bank of Ireland and there is Bank of Ireland and then yeah. they would come look dear Adam we have a trademark so essentially that and that not so here that I'll, and that <laughs> I'll give you an interesting trademark story before we cut off I yes. own SpongebobSquarePants.com for a long time and what I decided to do is I applied to the Nickelodeon affiliate program and they approved me so once they approved me Nickelodeon had a tough time of coming after the trademark. Uh, because their own affiliate program approved it and said I was okay to resell products on that domain name. Eventually, I just uh, sold it and got rid of it. But uh, it was interesting to see that internal struggle. But did they try to? No, no. no. I, yeah. I ended up selling it. I don't know what happened to it. By now, they probably own it because it was about uh, 15 years ago for sure. Okay. Very good. And if I place Adam, of course, all... Every watcher. Thank you so much. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's show as much as I did doing it. Wow. Yes. So what platform? It is called StreamYard. StreamYard. And also you can listen, Adam, on the podcasts. On the podcasts. Okay. And okay, Adam. So what will be the next time? Should we do the next time? Should we organize brunch of the mainers? <laughs> I, th I think um, for the next topic, we may need to let the people speak and tell us what they want to see or what they want to hear about, because I have hundreds of topics we could do. I'm not sure what we want to do, but uh, brunch, sure, happy to. I, it's hard for me. It'll be hard for me since I'll be the one talking to eat, but sure. <laughs> Everyone else can eat. Yes, and please submit your domain portfolios. We are absolutely happy. There are no donations to be made, nothing. That is totally free. And there is one condition just write adam a message and say thank you adam well that's your condition i'm happy just doing the show and i appreciate being able to help other people and and learn the tools and, and teach them stuff to make them better okay thank you adam and then see you next wednesday yes sir i'll be here thank you everybody for watching and please be to adam dicker at adamdicker.com is the site launched no, no, I did. You know, it's, it's, there's so much going on. Like, even if I just put I, up all I the know. shows we did, it's like, there's know, so many things I want to do that it's Sorry. hard for me to put it all on the site. I'm going to have to put a course there or something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, I will come up with something. <laughs> that is our inner joke. That's yeah. Fun. That's absolutely every week. <laughs> all the best. Thank you very much. Bye bye, everybody.